Shio, and welcome to this episode of Cherokee History and Stories. What happened here? My name is Kathy Littlejohn, and we're exploring the Cherokee Valley towns, Cherokee historic sites, and any Cherokee stories associated with these places. Today, we're on Hitchcock Street, overlooking the historic section of present-day Murphy, North Carolina. Here, U.S. military constructed Fort Butler. Now, there were two events that caused the military to build the fort here in the first place. The first was in 1835, John Shermerhorn, a federal agent, persuaded a small group of Cherokee people to sign a treaty in New Echota, Georgia. Despite Cherokee leaders and non-Cherokee supporters that fought against the treaty, the U.S. Senate ratified the treaty and the U.S. military began preparations for the Cherokee removal of over 12,000 people. Because of the protest, the U.S. Army considered this area a center of opposition to the removal and one with the most potential for armed resistance. The second event was that 500 Creeks sought refuge with the Cherokee Nation as they fled from Mississippi to avoid their own removal to the Indian Territory out west. They came here and hid in the Hanging Dog Mountains that surrounded the Valley Towns. The U.S. Army captured every one of them and forced them to go west in 1837. Now, Fort Butler was named for Benjamin Butler, the Attorney General appointed by President Andrew Jackson. The fort contained barracks, a kitchen, dining area, officers' quarters, offices, and other buildings. General Abraham Eustace took command of the fort in late May 1838, and after forcing the Seminoles in Florida to leave for Indian Territory in the West, the troops that were stationed there were ordered to come to Fort Butler. Once they arrived, they began widening trails to accommodate wagons and built several other forts and holding camps in the valley of southwestern North Carolina. Once the soldiers rounded up over 3,000 Cherokee people from that, that area, everyone came to Fort Butler. After being held here for several days or several weeks, they were marched along then Unicoi Turnpike to Indian Territory in the West, now called the Trail of Tears. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Cherokee History and Stories, What Happened Here?